Continuing to field questions for USMLA, this is not going to be a lengthy clip. Student is asking from within our Telegram group, what is a good pass margin uh, for the new free 120? And in order to expand on this a little bit, I know some of you also want to know, holy shit, should you do the old free 120 as well in addition to the new free 120? Okay, so I'll give you a very clean, consolidated answer here. Once again, not going to be a lengthy clip, not dramatic. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical and mehl man underscore medical links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group or channel down below and I'll start the clip. So student wants to know a good pass margin for new free 120. And my response is I want you getting at least two thirds correct uh, for the pass mark for you as simile. Okay. And of course, for step two, when your numerical score matters in the 70s, uh, you're looking at probably 230s to 240s uh, in the 80s, 240s, 250s. Uh, low 90s would put you probably in the 260s, and then 95 plus can get you high 260s, 270s. Uh, you pretty much have to get 100 if you want a 280, okay? So I get I get these DMs, okay? Some students ask me how to get a 280, okay? and I've made prior clips talking about this. So at least two thirds. If students below two thirds on the free 120, I'm not generally content uh, in terms of the students seeing the real deal if we look at that uh, percentage in isolation, but that's why I have the students sit the, the online NBME exams. And as I've made many prior clips discussing, I like to put free 120, prior to the online NBMEs for students, okay? So you're gonna finish all U World, you're gonna do offline NBMEs 20 through 24 for step one, then free 120, then 25 through 30 online. For 2CK, you're gonna do all of U World, you're going to do all the clinical master series forms, 44 forms, two forms per day, it's gonna take you three weeks, 22 days. You're gonna do offline forms six through eight, then free 120, you're gonna do a second pass of all the CMS forms, you're gonna do online forms nine through 12. So two thirds now, to address the other part of the question, which is, holy shit, should you also go through the old free 120? It's not, it's not critical, it's not necessary, but you might say, but wait though, aren't there repeats from the old free 120 on the real deal? Uh, isn't that information just as valuable? I mean, how much overlap is there? The forms actually are, I haven't counted, I haven't, I haven't enumerated exactly how many unique questions there are between the old and new free 120, but they're distinct enough. So they do have, there is utility, absolutely, in going through the old free 120. But I don't tend to incorporate that specifically in a student's prep simply because we have copious NBME material to go through already. So for the step one exam, as I just fucking said, you're going to go through NBME's 20 through 30 and the new free 120, and it's just a pass-fail exam. If you're scoring decently, you just sit. It's not a crisis. For 2CK, you say, well, your score really matters. You should go through the offline or the old free 120, right? Yeah, absolutely, you could. But once again, we've got 44 clinical master series forms that are 50 questions, and then we've got NBME's 6 through 12. And of course, you're going to be doing a double pass of the clinical master series question. So not a crisis if you want to go through the old free 120. But in general, I don't tend to specifically block out a day for the student to do the old free 120. Not that it can't be done, but I tend not to uh, make that a typical part of students prep. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.